Hi guys. Bubba didn't read for a long time, so we thought we'd better read a book pretty soon. And of course it's nighttime and I'm ready for bed. And I thought, okay, a bedtime story. This one is The Bernstein Bears. Mad, mad, mad. Toy craze. We have berry bubbles. And this is the front page. I think you'll like this. It is really cute. And look at all the animals that they have in here. There's a lot. They're just, these are just pictures of where you're going to be at the beginning of the book. I just thought you would like it. I think it's kind of cute. It was a calm and peaceful afternoon in bear country. It was calm and peaceful outside the bear family's treehouse where the tulips were blooming and the grass was growing. It was calm and peaceful inside the treehouse where Papa Bear was reading the afternoon paper and Mama Bear was checking out the TV schedule. Can you see their little treehouse? And where they're sitting in the room reading? But it was all over for peace and calm when brother and sister came tearing home. They rushed up the front steps and burst into the living room, all excited and so out of breath they could hardly talk. Papa, Mama, they gasped. We need it. We gotta have it. We absolutely gotta. Now hold everything, said Papa. Just calm down and tell me just what it is that you need and absolutely gotta have. Oh, boy. Can you see all that? I hope so. An advance, sputtered brother. That's right, guest sister, an advance on our allowance. And if we don't get it, Herb's hobby shop is going to run out. Going to run out of what, asked Papa? Why, berry bubbles, of course, said sister. And what, may I ask, are boony, berries, booby, bubbies? Whatever that was you said, asked Papa. Berry bubbles. Papa said, brother, they're terrific, they're great, they're fabulous. And they're cute and adorable, said sister. And each one is different, and each one has its own name. Cousin Fred already has six of them, said brother. Lizzie has eight, and Queenie has ten, said sister. Well, said Papa, reaching for his wallet and taking out some money, far be it from me to deprive my cups of booby berries. See, they're talking with their daddy there, and he's getting money out of his wallet to give them so they can go buy them. I wonder what that is. We'll find out. The money in the cups disappeared so fast you, have, you would have thought it was a magic act. Well, said a bewildered Papa, what do you suppose that was about? Come to think of it, said Mama, I did see a sign on Herb's Hobby Shop's window. It said, we have berry bobbies, $2.95. I didn't think much about it, but I suppose that's what the cubs are talking about. Talking about is putting it mildly, said Papa. They were flipping out about it. They were through the roof about it, he sighed. It's just amazing to me, he said as he went back to his paper. How otherwise sensible cubs can get fooled into a silly thing that comes along. I suppose, said Mama, she went back to the TV schedule. And this is, they're, they're talking. This is what they, Mama and Papa Bear was just talking. The cubs ran all the way to Herb's hobby shop, hobby shop, holding their precious berry bubble money in their hot little hands. They were coming to the shop, and lucky cubs that they were, they got there in time to buy the last three berry bubbies in the store. What do you expect? When do you expect more, says brother? I can't say, said Herb. I can't even get them on the phone. It's busy 24 hours a day. Though it was true that Cousin Fred had six, Lizzie had eight, and Queenie had ten berry bubbies, while Brother and Sister had only three. The ones they had were really cute. Each one was different from the other, and each one had its own berry name. 
See them when they were running to the store? And over here, this is when they were talking with the man at the store and getting them. I wonder what this is all about. Back home, sister said, we'd like to introduce our very bobbies. This one is named Zippy, Ziggy Zippy, Ziggy Zupu. I don't know how you pronounce all these things. This one is named Dimple Darling. And this one is named Harry Harry, said brother. Hmm, said Papa, as they all sit down to dinner. They are kind of cute, said Mama. Can you see them? They're holding them. They're different colors. They're sitting down to eat. The next day, the cubs came to Papa with a proposition. We won't ask for any more advances on our allowance if you'll hire us to do chores, said Brother. What are you going to do with the money you earn, asked Papa. Buy more berry bobbies, of course, said Sister. But you said Herb's Hobby Shop is out of them and you can't get more, said Papa. That's right, said Brother. But Lizzie has two of a kind and she's willing to sell one for five dollars. So does Queenie, said Sister, only she wants seven dollars. Hey, said Papa, I thought they were just $2.95 at Herb's Hobby Shop. That's right, said Sister, only Herb's all out. Hmm, said Papa, buying and selling berry bobbies is beginning to sound like a pretty good business. This is where they were talking to their Papa about trying to do some work and earn some money. That sounds like kind of a good idea, doesn't it? Speaking of business, said Mama, here's a piece in the paper about a fella who bought a whole bunch of buried bobbies before they became popular. It says here that he just sold his entire collection for a fortune. Let me see that, said Papa, snatching the paper. Papa, said Brother, about those chores. You know, he took the paper away. She's reading the paper. Look how Papa took that paper. He just grabbed it and pulled it. That wasn't very good, was it? That wasn't too nice to do that. For the next couple of days, brother and sister pulled weeds, sorted trash. Of course, there were more tomorrows, lots of them. And brother and sister were determined to spend them figuring out ways to get more berry bubbies. See where they were doing the trash and thinking about buying the bears? Just listen to this, said Papa, reading from a Berry Bobby's magazine he had found at the supermarket. A rare Berry Bubba was sold in Bearville for hundreds of dollars. Did you hear that? Hundreds of dollars. That's when brother and sister burst in with the Berry Bobbies they had bought with their chore money. Papa, cried brother, we heard a rumor that the Toy Is Us store in Big Bear City just got a shipment of Barry Bubbies. A huge shipment, cried Sister. Jump in the car, cried Papa. But Big Bear City is 20 miles away, said Mama, following them out the door. By the time Mama finished her sentence, Papa and the cubs were off in a cloud of dust. Do you believe that? Here they are. They're going to go and see if they can get those little bears. Let's see what happens. Look, a sky rider cried, sister, as they roared along the road to Big Bear City. What does it say, asked Papa. It says, Berry Bubbies forever, said Brother. We better hurry, cried Papa, flooring the gas pedal, or Toys Is Us might run out. The rumor about Toy Is Us turned out to be true. A huge banner said, We have Berry Bubbies, five dollars. It looked like a big Berry Bubbies party. Oh, only it was more like a big aggravation. The lines wound around the store, babies were crying, and two daddies got into a shoving match about a place in line and had to be taken away by the police. But the cubs got their very bobbies. In fact, they headed home up to their necks in them. My goodness, that wasn't very good of the people shoving themselves standing in line, was it? That's not a good idea to do that. 
And they were grown men. They should know better. Of course, not many things were, not many things are forever, and very bubbies certainly weren't. Pretty soon, very bubbies were everywhere. They came in crinkly, crumbles, cereal boxes. You could get them at the gas station with a fill-up. You could get them with a crazy meal at the Burger Bear. After a while, just about everybody in bear country had so many Gary Bubbies, they didn't even know what to do with them. I never heard of that kind of cereal, have you? See them there where they were dumping everything out looking for them? Wasn't that something? Wow. There wasn't much you could do with them in the first place. You couldn't play doll with the way you could with a good doll. You couldn't play choo-choo with them the way you could a toy train. You couldn't play baseball with them the way you could with a bat and ball. All you could do was look at them, except they had a way of looking back at you and making you think about all the money you had spent on them. Did you think about that? Maybe they were wising up a little bit with what they were buying with their money. Maybe they needed something different that they could play and that they would like to play with better. The only thing you could really do with them is brag about how many you had. I have 24 berry bubbies. I have 32 berry bubbies. I have 48 berry bubbies. I have 94 berry bubbies. No matter how many you had, there was always somebody who had more. I have 4,202. Don't you think that's kind of silly to have all that? But sometimes when you see things and people have them, you like to have them too. Now what do you suppose that was all about? I really don't know. Look here how they're just sitting there and they have those little bears everywhere. Can you see them the way they look? They're a little bit silly, aren't they? That was really something different. I hope you enjoyed that book. That was kind of nice. But that, that just, I'm surprised. I never heard of anything like that before. I know we all like to have things to play with when you're little. You like to play with something and you like to have something different. But sometimes they cost a lot of money, and you know, money's pretty hard to get sometimes. So you have to be good, and you have to help in the house, help mom and daddy do things if you like to have something. Well, maybe we can read another book so another time. We'll get Uncle Dan or Cousin Dan, whoever's watching the video. He'll find some more books, and I think, you know, he has a lot of these bear books. And I think you will enjoy them. I love all you guys. Good night.